I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be, She Wants Sex and Nothing More. Well, that's obviously, if you're a guy watching this, that's music to your ears. Because obviously, men were visual creatures, and a lot of women always wonder, is that all you guys ever think about is sex? And to be quite honest with you, when we see a beautiful woman who's got an incredible body, beautiful skin, charming, gorgeous eyes, big boobs, or whatever body type that we happen to like, I mean, I'm, the honest truth is that, yeah, we're thinking about sticking something in there. <laughs> hey, we're guys, you know, being honest, it's the way it is. But it's interesting, lately I've been getting a lot of, a lot of questions on how to turn your friend into girlfriend, how to make your friend become a friends with benefits, that kind of thing. And it's a good topic because a lot of guys are know a woman that they're friends with who's very attractive or somebody that they've been really good friends with for a long period of time and they don't know how to approach it. Or maybe they have, they've come right out and said how they feel attractive or attracted to them and she says, well, I just think of you as a friend. Well, there are cases where the attraction is obviously going to be mutual, but for whatever reason, maybe she decides or, or says that she really doesn't want anything serious. Because the biggest mistake that most men make, and I think it's just a, an ignorance, a lack of understanding, and plus being conditioned to what we've seen in m movies and TV over the many decades, is that guys get all hung up in the details. They get hung up on labels relationship, girlfriend, being exclusive and all these kinds of things. When all you really need to do is just hang out and have fun with the women that you're friends with and use sexual innuendo. It's all teasing and fun and playfulness and saying things that are a little outrageous at times but also that communicate in an adult way. Hey, I think you're hot. I think you're interested. You're interesting. I, I'm thinking about having sex with you. It's not that you come out and you say it that way, but you say it in playful ways. And I've talked about a lot of this in a lot of different articles that I've written. You know, the key is because love is playful and fun, it's not serious. And so the very nature of bringing up relationships or dating or what are we to each other, that totally gets in the way of playfulness and fun and being outrageous and a little silly and a little ridiculous. It's you look how a brother and a sister interact with one another and how like an older brother treats his bratty little sister. He's never mean to her, but he loves her and he's sweet to her and he teases her and he's playful with her and she teases him back and it's in a good natured way. And it's in that kind of bantering type of fun that if you're hanging out with a girl who's really hot and she's friends of yours and she's single, you can throw in some sexual innuendo and see what she does with it and play with it. And I know I talk about this in my book and I say don't do it if you're just learning this stuff because a lot of guys, they don't know how to handle, they don't, when they get to talking about sex or sexual innuendo, they don't know when to stop, they don't know when to back off or when it's too much. And the key with the sensory acuity of a woman, and the thing that we've got to understand is that when women call you or they phone you or they text you or they put on a hot dress or they wear some perfume that smells like cotton candy or they get their nails done or their hair done, all of it is geared towards getting the attention of a man. And the thing to understand is when a woman contacts you, she's trying to co-create a situation with you to where you could create a romantic, fun-filled opportunity for sex to happen, also known as the date. And that's the thing that you got to understand. It's a, it's a delicate dance. And when you're on a date with a woman or when she warms up to you, is you got to pay attention. Is as you're saying things to her, maybe she starts touching you and you start kissing, you start making out. There are going to be times where a woman senses that you're a little over eager and a little anxious and she's going to back off. And most guys think, okay, well, she's touching me now, so I just need to, you know, let me just put the fucking hammer down and let's go right to the bedroom. 
Well, it doesn't work that way because it's like two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back. Because as she feels comfortable, she wants to do more of it. And you should reciprocate the affection slowly. But you also got to pay attention to the times when a woman backs off. If she's very touchy and feely, kissing, making out with you, got her hands on you. And then all of a sudden she's kind of backed off. She's not touching you as much. When you see that, when she does that, you need to back off. Either A, she's become uncomfortable or maybe it's become a little boring to her. And you just need to back off a little bit and joke around and tease her with more innuendo. And a few minutes later, she may reach back over and touch your arm again or, or put her arm around you or kiss you. And then you slowly reciprocate back because you got to pay attention. If a woman stops moving forward, you need to stop moving forward. And when a woman starts moving forward, then you slowly reciprocate. And if she backs up, then you back up a little bit more than she does as far as the affection and the touching. You've got to notice that. It's because a woman's comfort level fluctuates just like her emotions do. Because sometimes she's testing you. Sometimes she's, you've done something or she's sensed a little bit of weakness in you. And for whatever reason, she just... She's going to feel a little wishy-washy you're not as attracted to you in the next moment, so she'll back off a little bit. And you just have to learn to recognize that to give her the space because it's when you give her the space, that's what it communicates to her that you're okay with her running away, leaving, staying, going, whatever she's going to do. You're the rock. You're the mountain. And what happens when she's, she's backed off a little bit and she feels that you're not coming on too hard or too strong, no pun intended there. That's the kind of sexual innuendo thing. You say a word like hard and, you know, it's like you talk about putting, you know, filling a, a gas tank, you know, in a car. And it, you, know, you could just the very act of, of putting the gas nozzle in your gas tank. If she's sitting in the front seat and you say, yeah, I'm going to take this long and hard gas filler pump and stick it in this hole over here on the side of my car. <laughs> you say things like that and you know she knows what you're talking about you're being playful you're not coming right out and talking about sexual body parts it's innuendo it's playfulness it's silliness that's the kind of thing that you want to do to create attraction with your friend now i got an email here from a guy and i'm gonna just jump right into it he says I read your article on understandingrelationships.com. I enjoyed it, and you seem to know more in this area than others I have seen but not consulted. I am hoping you can help me in maybe deciphering my whole situation. I have known this female since childhood. We started talking in two, again in 2005, and I eventually fell in love with who she was. I moved to a different state, and even with communication over the phone, I can't help but to adore her. But I can't really explain why. Women are like that. It's just sometimes they push our buttons. We do argue a lot, usually over nonsense, just like we would when we hung out in a group of friends. You should never fucking argue with a woman. Any man that argues with a woman is a man who does not understand women and he does not understand how to communicate with women. I talk about this extensively in my book and obviously I don't think you've read my book yet because this, I go into detail on how to communicate with women in a loving way, in a kind way, so where there's, there's no arguing or drama or any of that kind of, kind of bullshit. Let's see here. He says... Uh, I have, of course, told her how I felt, and the responses every week I get from her just confuse me more. At one point, she had said she found me to be attractive, but not in a sexual way. She, of course, says that we are just friends, and I agree. But she uses the term as of, she says, as of now, we are just friends. But before that, just flat out said flat out said that was all we were going to be. As many times as we tried to go our separate ways, we end up communicating through texts and at times phone calls. The thing is, she always initiates sexting, always at late night, early morning. She then says that she would want to sleep with me and try new things, 
but I am not to get the wrong idea or try to move to the next level. I don't understand what she's really saying behind all this or how she really feels. Any help or thoughts in this? I do appreciate. You know, any thoughts on this? Please help. I do appreciate your time. It's a good email, and I think you're in a in a probably a, a good situation here because she's sexting you, and she's because she obviously knows that you like her, and when she says that she f found you attractive but not in a sexual way, in other words, she's saying I find you attractive, just not attractive enough to want to sleep with you. And the thing you got to understand about women is when they say something to you. They're communicating based upon how they feel about you in that moment. See, guys make the mistake with women of latching on to something she said last week versus something she said 10 minutes ago, and they think what she said last week still applies to right now. Well, it doesn't because what she said last week was based upon how she was feeling then. And right now is a new, fresh moment. And so when this woman starts sexting you and, and, and sex, sexual innuendo in your text, invite her over. Say, hey, why don't you grab a bottle of wine and come on over and do these things to me? And one of two things is going to happen. She's either going to agree to come over and see you or she's going to stall or make excuses. Now, when she does this, text back three or four times or if she's, you're talking to her on the phone, talk for three or four more minutes. And just say, hey, i got to run, but give me a call if you change your mind. I'd love to. I'd love to see. I'd love to hang out. I'd love to hook up. Whatever it happens to be, what, and just play along with it like that. If she's texting you, say the same thing. Give me, text me if you change your mind when she turns you down, and then just go about your business. I wouldn't call this girl or text her or email. Period. The only time you should contact her is in response to her initiating contact. And what she's basically told you is that she's open to sleeping with you. She's open to having sex with you. But the reason she's hesitant is because you don't know how to go with the flow. She's afraid that you're going to get all hung up and then start talking about relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, I love you, you're my soulmate, and all this kind of bullshit. And all she just wants to do is hang out and have a good time and hook up and experience new things. That's a wonderful girlfriend to have as a potential friends with benefits because she's got the right attitude towards thing because you gotta understand women when it comes to dating they just have a let's see what happens attitude but where guys are always we're okay we got you know where are we where do we stand uh let me let me put a label i'm gonna stick you in this box over here because this is where you fit it's, it doesn't work that way women just want to hang out and have a good time and if sex happens then Awesome. What a benefit. Because when it comes to relationship or getting exclusive, all you got to do is just hang out, have a good time, make sure she's having fun, make sure she's laughing, hook up, whatever. As far as relationships or being exclusive or who else you're sleeping with, it's unimportant and really it's none of her fucking business. And the more time you spend together and the more she feels comfortable and the more she has fun with you, She's going to associate fun and good times and hopefully good sex with hanging out with you. And over time, as you continually engage her emotions without trying to use logic and reason to persuade or convince her or anything, you just focus on her having a good time and making her laugh, then her, her feelings will go up. Because obviously, if her interest level is at least 51% and you are more romantically... You got a chance with her in order to obviously to hook up. But if it's below that, you ain't got a chance. And so this girl is saying these things, so all you got to do basically is call her out on it and just assume when she contacts you that she's thinking about these this, these things, hooking up, sexual innuendo, that kind of stuff. And like I said, from this point forward, all of your contact should just simply be responding to her contact that she initiated. Try to move it to her coming over and hooking up. And if she doesn't, just say, hey, you know, I'd love to see you. But, you know, I'm going to run. I'm going to get back to my movie or I'm going to get back to whatever it was I'm doing. Give me a call, text me. Because it's like, in a way, you're kind of getting bored. It's like, hey, you're bringing up sexting and all that, come or sexual innuendo, then come on over. 